that we stand here today in full support of Congressman Ted Lieu. I first met Ted in 2013 when he was on the California Legislative Joint Committee on the Arts as artistic director of the Actors Gang, a non-profit theater company founded here at UCLA 33 years ago. I oversee a vigorous outreach program that operates in 12 LAUSD schools and four California prisons. I had the pleasure of addressing the committee that Ted was on. During the hearing, I testified about the Actors Gang experience with our prison project and how our program has helped inmates express and manage their emotions and gain new insights that help them change destructive behavior. I told the committee that I had witnessed profound transformation amongst the inmates we have worked with. I spoke of the need for arts programs in prison as a public safety issue, that our program and others significantly reduce recidivism rates. California used to have one of the most extensive arts and corrections programs in the country, but due to budget cuts, all arts and corrections were terminated in 2003. Ted saw the importance of this work in prisons and became a good friend and supporter of our cause. Last year, with Ted's help, a significant amount of money was added to the state budget, and largely due to Ted's advocacy, the California Department of Corrections restarted the arts and corrections program. Working with the California Arts Council last year, Ted introduced legislation to increase the arts budget. As a result, Californians will benefit from a 500% increase in funding to the arts, from $1 million to $6 million. So, who is this politician that advocates for prison reform and arts funding? Who is this anomaly? Doesn't he know that prisoners don't vote? Doesn't he know that prisoners don't have any money to contribute to his campaign? Has he never heard the words, starving artist? Doesn't he understand that in politics you have to pass legislation for your rich constituents? I believe there are three qualities that Ted Lieu possesses that will distinguish him to rise above other representatives to become a great member of Congress. Number one, integrity. Ted's integrity is unsurpassed. Among his colleagues in the state legislature, he was considered to be one of the most honorable and honest legislators. Governing Magazine agreed. In fact, two years in a row, Ted was named one of the top 12 legislators to watch in the nation. Not just California, the nation. Second, courage. It's difficult to select just one of Ted's courageous acts. As a result of Ted taking on Wall Street during the foreclosure crisis, he was stripped of his chairmanship on the Assembly Banking and Finance Committee. Ted wrote the first in the nation bill to ban gay conversion therapy for minors. Since then, more than a dozen states have replicated this very same bill. And finally, vision. Ted calls climate change the greatest threat to humanity. I agree. He has pledged to take on the climate change deniers and champion this issue in Congress. This is why Ted Lieu is a man of vision. As his proud constituent, I am counting on Ted to carry this cause. The planet is in better hands because Ted Lieu is in Congress. And we are all better off, too. Ted, I'm thrilled to be here today. And in lieu of a day at home, I look forward to spending the afternoon celebrating the beginning of your journey in Washington, D.C. Thank you.